Beauty Gang, it is your girl T. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please don't be shy to smash the subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notifications to get notified every time I post a video. Bay, bay. Guys, today I am back with another lead banger video. So today, guys, we are going to be comparing the rurals of South Africa versus the rurals of Zim. So this is Stella, guys. She has been in South Africa for seven months now so she was living in the rurals in zimbabwe and i have been living in the rurals in south africa so we are doing this video based on where she was living of which she was living in chipinge in zimbabwe and i am living in marapiani so do not come for us guys and tell us Kuti, hey, hey, it's not like that everywhere we do know we are narrowing it down to where we have been okay guys so the first thing we're going to talk about is electricity city in the rurals of Zimbabwe. My guess is that Zimbabwe I'm going to go and 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 I'm so she's saying there is electricity supply in the rurals of Zimbabwe, but however, they do take electricity. It's not like on a schedule where they say it's load shedding. They take electricity whenever they want. Um, they don't inform you on what time they'll bring it back or what time they'll take it. But uh, there is electricity supply in the rural areas. And then I'm going to speak for South Africa where I say in the rurals I've been staying, um, there is electricity supply and we also do have load shedding which is power cut-offs where they tell us that at 9 there's going to be load shedding, it's coming back at 11 so there is a schedule and there is electricity supply in the rurals of South Africa and then the next thing we're going to talk about is water supply in the rurals so in South Africa the water supply, we do have water supply in the rural areas um, I've realized that in most how at the most houses uh, in the place that I'm living they do have boreholes so they use pumps, I don't know if it's a pressure pump or what but they use pumps so there is water supply when there's electricity but when there's load shedding the water does come out but it doesn't come out as much as it does when there is electricity guys so water supply yes it is there they use boreholes that use pumps uh, that is more effective during hours when we have electricity and then for Zimbabwe Zimbabwe Okay, so Stella is saying in Zim, uh, there is water supply in the rural areas and it doesn't matter if there's the power cut off, the water still does come out. And for people with solar, they also do have water supply because the solars are rechargeable. And then they can they also have an option of taking water at a well. I don't know if you guys know a well, but it's where they dig deep, deep, deep until they reach water and people go and fetch water there. They also have an option of using boreholes. So there's definitely water supply in the rurals of Zimbabwe. And then we go to healthcare services. Um, firstly, in South Africa, in the rurals of South Africa, there are clinics in um there are clinics that are around that are local that you can access um by food. You can walk there, you can get there, you get help. There are also hospitals um in some surrounding areas that are also rural areas that I've realized that they are actually um hospitals um around and then in Zimbabwe Spatara Zulu Zimbabwe Ziri Mumsha Mum Reserva to was on the Zinus Patara Zanu uses it to one so called to Barwara even his Ningus Rislas is doing slow to do my English Patara and English Patra to English River Dues. But can I walk with a hospital? 
Azizo kwa nisi kuhone kwa tuwa nisi patra chikuru, shitingi chiri mbuzi kana chikiri mwere. Ningo waku chikuru wa ozi mota, mtuende kuhu, sipata wa chikuru, shitingi chiri wa samwe. Shia shiri kuhone. Okay, so she's saying that when it comes to healthcare services in Zim, in the rules of Zim, there actually are clinics around that you can easily access and they can help you if you have a problem. But if you have a serious problem that needs a hospital, then they have to refer you to areas where they have hospitals of which they are not available in those local communities. You have to travel for the... Um, you have to travel for the services of a hospital, you have to travel to a hospital. Then the next thing we're going to talk about is grocery stores. We do have grocery stores in the rural of South Africa. There's actually a mini complex where I stay, where they have um, shop rights, of which it's only shop rights, the grocery stores that is there. But we also have a few stores like fashion, is it fashion? clothing junction we have take it out we have those sort of shops but it's only the basic shops we don't have a huge variety but yes if you do need to do groceries there is shop right if you do need to shop for clothes there's actually a few um shops although you don't have a huge um choice and then in zim my shop is cash like okay, in Richard, oh my shop, my product, no one's gonna check out. So Stella is saying yes, they do have grocery stores at the rurals, although it's not a mall or a complex, but they are uh, grocery stores that are available in the rural areas where they can do their um, grocery shopping. Um, my shop at um, Alibo, Alibo. Okay, about clothing, she's saying she's no longer sure. And then the next point we're going to talk about is network connection. Guys, one thing that pisses me off about being in the rurals of South Africa is the network connection. Guys, the network connection is really, really bad where I'm staying. I'm using Vodacom, it's bad. I go to MTN, it's bad. I've been trying all networks that they tell me it's bad. So the connectivity here is bad 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 it's bad and when there's um load shedding then there's no connection at all um and then in zim mm. i need to give zim you know shanda just you know in south africa because zim which are my gates kusina network getting worry now share my gates are you going to be getting worry now you know when the house would be happening up econeti netwani Okay, so Stella is saying that connection is not so difficult. It's actually not difficult. There is internet connection. Um, when electricity goes, it doesn't go with the connection. It doesn't go with the network. There's always network, whether it's load shedding or not. And um, depending on your line that you're using, it can be Econet, can be Net1. Um, they all work perfectly well. It's only now and then when connection is a problem. And then the next thing we're going to talk about is roads, guys. In rural of South Africa, we do have a lot of gravel roads. Um, but we also have some roads that have tar road. And even if it's gravel road, they actually make it to be nice. They don't leave it to have potholes and be unbearable to drive on. So the gravel roads are so nice. They level them properly. They make them properly. It's gravel. If it's a tar road, it's a proper tar road. So those are the kind of roads we have in the rest of South Africa. Then in Zim. My road is Zimbabwe, which is name South Africa. name is Kifanya <laughs> Mm. 
so she's saying in the zim rails they actually isn't a tar road you have to travel quite a distance until you see a tar road so in the local communities it's only gravel roads and some other beat up roads that don't look really nice okay guys so the last but not least point is entertainment so entertainment in the rules of south africa we actually do have nice lounges we have nice parks uh, at the park where you can even chill at a pool there are swimming pools it's a nice venue um uh, it's a nice lounge you get served there are wait waiters and waitresses you can drink nice cocktails umnand everything is nice guys so um that's the rural life of south africa it's actually entertaining by the way and then um in zim entertainment zim to myself shanti sa i need you to my faro and english don't go tangara so <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so stella is saying um in gym they actually it's not like fancy lounges at rural areas uh, but there are bottle stores if you like drinking and chilling with friends you can go and drink and have a braai we call it goch goch guys you go and have a braai you braai your meat and you have fun with your friends like in the local area but there's nothing fancy like pools and all that and by the way guys we are on the road to 3000 subscribers okay if you're coming past this channel for the very first time please give it a thumbs up share this video with your family and friends subscribe to my youtube channel bay B. and if you like more of this content and if you want to see stella again on the channel please let me know in the comment section down below and i will bring her back to the channel bye